In part 1 of a cool apps video, we showed you guys a glimpse of the open camera app. A lot of you guys seem to like it, so here we are today with a dedicated video on it. Hey guys, Amorto here from C4 eTech and if you do end up liking this video, please turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. As the name implies, Open Camera is an open source camera app which offers a ton of customizations. So we have gone ahead and cherry picked some of the important settings and features that we feel would help you guys nail the perfect shot while using this app. Let's open up the app. Yeah, the UI looks like it came straight from 2012, doesn't it? But don't be fooled by the looks, cause hiding under the hood are some features that we don't get in any similar app. Coming back to the default interface, we've got your usual options like shooting modes, image previews and zoom slider. The latter does give us the option for up to 10x software zoom. Tapping on the three dot button pulls up the quick settings menu. This gives us a ton of customizations including various options and shooting modes, most of which we'll cover in a bit. Pressing on the settings cog pulls up the full settings. Before we dive in there though, we strongly recommend turning on camera to API on your device. With this, we get additional features like manual modes for exposure, focus, and even white balance. Even if your device doesn't really support Camera 2 API, you don't need to worry because you can still use the rest of the features of the app. Okay, so let's start with the on-screen settings. To the bottom left, we have the exposure lock toggle. This is helpful, especially for videos where the lighting is dynamic. Like in this scenario, where we have a sudden change in the lighting intensity. Exposure on the stock camera is all over the place. But with exposure lock on open camera, we got more polished footage from it. Above the exposure lock toggle, we have the ISO setting. Here we can do stuff like exposure compensation and even change the shutter speed for video and images. The thing to note is that exposure compensation only works when ISO is set to auto. Next up, we have the quick settings menu. Now the amount of customization this one button doles out will amaze you guys. And what's more, it has different settings for photo as well as video. Let us go through the photo mode settings quickly. First, we have the four flash modes. Flash off, auto mode, flash on, and torch mode. We have the focus selector. This basically lets us choose how the camera focuses on subjects. Here we have regular autofocus, focus macro, focus lock, focus set to infinity, manual focus and continuous focus. Turning on manual focus gives us a slider to set focus for photos as well as videos. That's basically like a pro mode for video capture, not something a lot of OEMs provide. So with open camera, we can pull off smooth focus pulls even on our phones. Next up, there are a lot of photo modes available on open camera. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory like noise reduction mode, HDR, etc. But one unique feature that caught our eye is exposure bracketing. For those of you who may be unaware, exposure bracketing takes multiple shots of the same image in order to find the optimum single shot with the best all-round exposure. This helps us come up with really detailed images. Open camera takes it up a step by giving us loads of customization options. Just go to main settings, photo settings and we can choose how many shots we need to take and also select the bracketing stops in between. Pictures taken in this mode come out bright and natural looking. Just below the photo modes, we have a handy feature called auto level. This uses data from the phone to line pictures up. Auto level does come with a slight crop, but it's a decent trade off for well aligned pictures. Finally, we have some general stuff in the quick settings. There's a resolution, timer, repeat mode, white balance, and also a few grids for framing. Actually, a lot of grids. We have similar settings for when we are capturing video as well. There's one extra option though, we can speed up the video 240 times. Great when you're doing time lapses. One thing to note about video resolution on open camera is that it can go up to 4K if the processor supports it. So for a device like say the Redmi Note 5 Pro, officially there's no support for 4K via the MIUI camera app. But since the Snapdragon 636 does support 4K video recording, we can install the open camera app and shoot in 4K right now. So that's pretty much it about the one touch settings available directly from the camera UI. But open camera lets us add more things on screen. Here's a list of things you can add to the UI. Just go to main settings, on screen GUI and select the ones you want to use. Same for the preview settings. We can add them by going into main settings, camera preview and selecting them as needed. Here's a list of things that we can add here. 
We can add as many as we want. And the cool thing is that we get some professional camera features like focus peaking, histogram, and even zebra patterns. That's it for this quick little video on the Open Camera app. So if you found the app useful, if you do download it and take some pictures, then please tag us on social media. We'll have our handles pop up on screen. Okay, so that's it for this little video. If you found it useful, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. This has been Amartya. Thank you for sticking around till the end, guys. Cheers.